Hi, I'm Robert Vitelli, Senior Development Specialist in Horticulture. Mavento Insecticide is a Group 23 product, traditionally registered for the control of sucking pests, but now it is registered for the control of diamondback moth larvae. Diamondback moth has traditionally been a very difficult pest to control. In the past there has been resistance, particularly to some of the older chemistry, organophosphate, synthetic pyrethroids, and now Mavento, a Group 23 product, offers a new tool for the management of this particular pest. Mavento works best on controlling young larvae, so we try to target our foliar sprays around egg lays and first in star. So Mavento is registered for three foliar sprays in brassica crops and two foliar sprays in brassica leafy vegetables. The spray interval is generally seven to ten days, but no shorter than seven days. We try to target the spray interval around the life cycle, which is determined by the mean temperature. So back-to-back -back sprays for Mavento is good practice because we are not only enhancing the amount of product within the plant itself, but we're also trying to target one generation of the diamondback moth larvae with one chemical group. So Mavento has been trialled extensively in the key growing areas of Queensland and Victoria, and we've also done some work in South Australia. Main crops have been broccoli and Brussels sprouts. It's been excellent. We've seen a reduction in larvae numbers, and also we've noticed in some trials where we've had higher pressure, a reduction in feeding damage, particularly in Brussels sprouts. Traditionally, Mavento was registered for sucking pest control. So it was often tank mixed with other Lepidopteran products. But now with the advent of the new registration for diamondback moth control, we want to protect that group 23 chemistry against that pest. So if you have a situation of a mixed population of sucking pests and Lepidopteran, consider tank mixing Mavento with BTs to control that mixed population. Mavento is recommended to be used with an emulsified oil adjuvant. The main ones we recommend are Agridex and Hasten. The reason for that is that they actually modify the waxy cuticle layer and that allows direct penetration of the active into the plant. Even though the product is two-way systemic, moving with xylem and phloem, we still need excellent spray coverage. What we need is for growers to make sure that they adopt really good resistance management practices. They rotate chemical groups according to crop life strategies or local developed resistance management strategies. We need to ensure that growers adhere to label advice on the number of sprays, the spray intervals, and they avoid tank mixing with other insecticides. The only one for the Mavento that you might consider tank mixing with are the use of BTs. For additional information on Mavento and the control of diamondback moth larvae, contact your local Bayer representative.